or Jay Prince. Um, sitting in the car, went all over the internet. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's a few bloggers that came out saying that he wanted to have a sit down with you. Is that is that true? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people reached out to my manager. Uh so if y'all don't know what's going on, Charleston White and Jay Prince been having this situation and it's been going back and forth. Now Charleston White been advocating for the safety of the communities against the mob. And we understand him quite frankly. You feel me? Salute to Charleston White. And this ain't a diss towards the mob or nothing like that. But Say Cheese TV asked Charleston White a question about it and Charleston White give confirmation about whether or not as far as Jay Prince and him was supposed to have a sit down, which to which I should say Charleston White declined it. Now, I need y'all to go subscribe to Say Cheese to get the y'all probably subscribed to him already, but go go get that full interview of the confirmation. But I'll give you a snippet of it while also adding his previous live stream, which he was going ham confirming this as well man look salute to the i smoke hip hop nation i'm your guy dj bless one make sure you hit that like button you hit that notification bell thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip hop live platform look you gotta keep great and you gotta think great and you'll stay great salute oh i ain't sitting down with no nigga i was just bullshitting saying that so don't take that serious Oh, uh, homie, I'm a grown motherfucking man. What the fuck I look like sitting down with Jay Prince? If you don't like what I say, hit me in the mouth or kill me. Sheesh. Or then leave me the fuck alone, nigga. Jay Prince can't tell me shit, nigga. Fuck, I'm gonna go. Because if my bro called and said I need to sit down and talk, we gonna sit down and talk. I don't wanna hear shit from no nigga. Nigga, you can't talk to me. You can't give me no talking to. Nigga, I ain't shedding up for shit. I mean, Charleston White is letting you know his feelings about the whole thing, how he is not going to stay quiet about it. Like he went deep into this when he did previous live streams. I'll go to one of them so you guys can listen to it and hear him out as he speaks. How did all the murder that's surrounding rap a lot record? that the feds can come in and get TSL. Why they can't get Jane Prince and rap a lot? Who is being paid off in the city of Houston where James Prince and this mob tie rap a lot people can run around and extort? This is extortion, Houston. Houston, Texas, y'all got a motherfucking problem, nigga. Rap a lot records. Police department, y'all gonna let them just, just run rap it? Y'all letting these niggas do illegal gambling in a building where convicted felons got guns and alcohol. That's against regulations, Houston, in downtown. Man, come on, Houston. Sound like y'all a corrupt police department to me. Since y'all say, why wouldn't y'all, well, hold on, hold on. Why wouldn't they want somebody like me to come speak? I speak everywhere else. I speak everywhere else. Y'all won't even help the woman. The woman got an organization called Parent. I ain't never been no syrup sipping nigga. I ain't never like DJ screw music. None of that shit. Stupid in a motherfucker right now. Houston, you look stupid. Houston Police Department. You bitches want to be down with the rappers. Rap a lot. Coward ass motherfuckers let me rap a lot. Mother. I ain't no motherfucking mob. And I'm saying fuck the mob nigga. Now he went in on the mob type situation and he went deep. I'm not gonna lie. Charleston White doesn't bite his tongue for anybody. He doesn't hold his tongue. So when Say Cheese TV went into asking him this situation and speaking upon it, he was more trying to get clarification because we all know and heard what Charleston White said. So now when people are asking him about it, it's a lot of hoopla going on where they're acting like Charleston White was cap, but he didn't cap at all. He actually broke it down in an extravagant way and said this is what it is and this is what it's gonna be a lot of people ain't cool with it a lot of people is actually majority people are more favoring charleston white than the opposite since the death of takeoff one of the migos beatles you know i conjoined beatles and migos together and we call them the migos you feel me the Migos and beagles but anyways charleston white has a lot of 
factual things he's saying that makes sense when you're looking at it. So we're going to go back to some of the things he said and hear him out. 60s, nigga, the rolling 60s ain't come up out of Houston, nigga. It come by way of OG Zim, nigga. Fuck you talking about. It ain't no Crip OGs out of Houston in this city, nigga. Nowhere in Texas, nigga. It ain't no OG Bloods, nowhere. No prison calling no motherfucking shots, nigga. That's the nigga. We how I'm talking, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I can speak bold like this, nigga. Because I'm the bad fuck is you talking about. Because I'm a bad motherfucker, nigga. Hell, yeah, I got plenty of goddamn guns to back up what I'm talking about. I got guns. Lay out even Jay Prince. Do you hear me? When I talk, every motherfucking body listens, nigga. Even Jay Prince, nigga. Even Houston Police Department. And I'm way up here, nigga. My voice loud. My words rang far and wide and long, nigga. Because I'm the voice. I know it too. Arrogant, cocky, egotistical, and bold in the motherfucker that ain't giving a fuck about nothing and nobody but what's coming out of my mouth. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail, nigga, for my beliefs. For my beliefs. And I ain't changing my motherfucking tune because a so called mob boss done got mad. Hit me in the mouth or kill me, nigga. But I ain't shutting up. And you can't stop me. You are now another motherfucker, nigga. Was chosen by God's gonna be great, nigga. Now, any man who say he's chosen by God, whether you believe them or not, that's a humble human being who believe in their own words. And I think in the grand standing of things, that's the most important part. Forget about whether we believe an individual or not. Does that individual believe in the things they spew out here? If they do and they're willing to stand on it, well, leave that person alone and move along if you don't agree with them. Because for as far as I can see, this is a man that's genuine when he wants to be and when he wants to be abrasive and aggressive with his words and actions, he will. And you can't you can't go against that. At the end of the day, we say we want people to be upfront, honest with us. Now we can't act like they have to have some type of proper decorum and rules of engagement. Everybody have a way they speak. Now that's up to you whether you dictate what your hands do to them, your hands and feet or whatever. Now I don't promote that or advertise that or subscribe to that. If someone is dissing me and talking mess, y'all know me already. I don't really like doing no rebuttal videos because it's like it's the internet world. It's the metaverse. It's not real life, ladies and gentlemen. So, like, as far as what I could see from here, I'm just going to want to know y'all opinions. How y'all feel about it? Are you agreeing with Charleston White? Are you agreeing with Jay Prince? It was a good question by Sean Cotton of Say Cheese, man. Y'all go subscribe to that, brother. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids. Stay blessed. Peace.